Wrigley Field opened in 1914, and that same year, Bill Feck was born. However, Wrigley did not have ivy. That did not come until 1937. Feck claimed to have put the ivy on the walls. He took this idea from Perry Stadium in Indianapolis at the time. They had already installed ivy six years beforehand. However, this ivy installation did not come without drama. According to an MLB.com interview with Ed Hartig, the story was falsified. Hartig discovered a photo of Elmer Clavey, who was directing the installation. Clavey at the time owned a nursery. This photo was actually taken a month before Vex's claim, and it is widely agreed upon by historians that the Clavey family deserve all the credit. Believe it or not, the Clavey Nursery is still open today, is operating in Northern Illinois. If you guys like what you see in this video, make sure you click that subscribe button down below, follow us on Twitter, and listen to our podcast on Spotify.